In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an elegant logo reveal in After Effects without using any plugins. Let's create a new composition, name it Main, then drag the logo here, press S and adjust the scale if you need that. Then right click it and select Precompose. I'm going to name it Logo, make sure Movable Attributes is selected though. Then right click in the empty space, New Solid, and search for Gradient, Wrapping Effects and Presets. Add it to the Solid. Also search for Post Dries and add it to the Solid. Set Post Dries Level to 8. Then right click the solid, pre-compose it and call it map. After that you can hide the map layer because we don't need to see it. Then search for displacement map effect in effects of presets and add this to the logo comp. Set the displacement map layer to the map we've created. Then set max horizontal displacement to zero and decrease the max vertical displacement until you no longer see the logo. Then create a keyframe at the beginning, go two seconds forward and set it to zero. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline, drag and select them both, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Go to the graph editor, if your graph doesn't look like this, right click, make sure you're in edit speed graph. Drag the signal to the left and the other one all the way to the left. That'll make the animation really quick at the beginning that will gradually slow down to the end. Then search for Force Motion Blowing Effects and Presets and add this to the logo composition. Set Shadow Angle to 360. This will generate a realistic motion blow on your logo. But there's one problem, if you go back to the first displacement keyframe you can now see the blur details of the logo. But that just further decreases the max vertical displacement until they're gone. Let's now create a background by right click New Solid. I'm going to name it BG and for the color I'm going to choose a pure black and place the BG layer at the bottom. Then I'm going to select the logo layer, go to Edit Duplicate or you can press Ctrl D as a shortcut. I'm going to rename the bottom logo layer to BG and remove the force motion blur effect from it. Then I'm going to press S to bring up scale, set scale to 250, then press T to bring up opacity and set it to 50%. Then I'm going to search for tint effect and add it to the BG composition. I'm going to matte white to a really dark gray. Then search for bevel alpha effect and add it to the BG composition as well. Set edge thickness to four. Then go to 2 seconds and create a keyframe for light intensity and light angle. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Set light intensity to 0. Move half a second forward, that would be 15 frames for me. And set it to 0.5. Then move to 6 seconds and set light angle to minus 1. That way the bevel light will animate throughout the composition. Then search for light sweep effect and add it to the BG composition as well. I'm going to zoom out to 25%. Then set direction to 0 degrees. I'm going to set shape to smooth width to 100 and swap intensity to 50. Then select the light sweep effect and drag the center point, place it to the left of our logo so it's not actually on it. Then move to 2 seconds and create a keyframe for center. Then move to 6 seconds and drag the center point across to the right side of our logo. This will bring a bit more life to the logo animation. Let's now switch the logo composition itself. Let's select it, right click on it, layer styles, drop shadow, right click, layer styles, inner shadow, right click, layer styles, bevel and emboss. Open drop shadow settings, Set distance to 0 and size to 25. Then close that up and open the inner shadow settings. Set distance to 0 and size to 200. Then open bevel and the bus settings and set size to 10. Then let's select the logo composition, press S. Set scale to 300 at the beginning and create a keyframe. Go to 2 seconds, set the scale back to 100. Then select the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease them. Go to the graph editor and drag the keyframe handles to the left. This will create a simple scale animation for the logo. Then I'm going to add a secondary scale animation by right click new null object. I'm going to select logo layer and BG layer and parent them using the pick whip tool by dropping into the null one. I'm going to go to the beginning, select the null, press S, create keyframe for scale, go to six seconds and set scale to 90%. It's all about adding that extra movement throughout the composition. Let's now create the particles. For that I'm going to right click, new solid, and I'm going to name it particles. Then search for particle system second in effects and presets, add it to the particles layer. Then I'm going to place the particles below every other layer except the BG solid. Let's open producer, set radius x and y to 100. Then select the position point and place it at the bottom middle point. Then open physics drop down, set animation to direction. Velocity to 0.2 and gravity to 0. Then open particle drop down, set particle type to faded sphere, set birth and death size to 0.1, size variation to 100, max opacity to 100. Then for the colors you can choose your own colors, but I'm going for something silver slash gray. Then select the particles and press T, set opacity to 50%. Then I'm going to decrease the birth rate to reduce the amount of particles. And now we can go ahead and preview the full scene. As you can see, just like this, we've been able to create an awesome, elegant logo reveal in After Effects without using a single plugin. If you enjoyed this rather quick tutorial and learned something new, please give this video a like, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.